What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey everyone, welcome back to the That Range Life YouTube channel. That Range Life, a channel sometimes about golf. Still working on the rebrand of uh, of our YouTube channel here and getting it right. Hey, go down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time we post one of these videos, a vlog, who knows what we're gonna post. You wanna get notified, we're posting it. All right, um, I love the unexpected boxes showing up at the house this time of year. Know who that's from, Cobra. It's heavy, so I'm thinking irons. Uh, one of the things I'm pretty excited about for, is call me silly, I've been getting, not to flex here, I've been getting Cobra boxes for quite a few years now, and um, this white box, that's new, new for this year. The King logo, I like that, all right? So uh, let's get into it, see what's in it. All right, I closed my knife after the intro just so I don't cut myself, but let's be careful here. Always, always dicey, even though we practice great knife safety on this channel. Okay, here we go. Ho, ho, ho. Is this what I think it is? Not gonna read that paperwork. What's this? Welcome to a new world I feel where exceptional precision and craftsmanship put you in complete command of every shot. Welcome to the next level of ball striking experience. Welcome to King. It's pretty cool. Now, here's the thing. I'm looking at this right now, and I sent something to a guy a long time ago, but this is my golf shaft. This is my grip. This seems like a custom order to me, which I feel like could only mean one thing. Let me put, one of, put this down. It's a Cobra King Tour, all right? Let me, go, let me just make sure that's what we got for all of them. Looks like it. We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got four through pitch, all right? So let's talk a little bit about these. Cobra King Tour Iron is one of three, I don't know what I was doing there, one of three player irons in the Cobra lineup this season. Out of the three, this is the most, um, let's just say, the most generous. It doesn't mean it's forgiving. It doesn't mean it's game improvement. It just means, Lower center of gravity, a little more generous of a sweet spot. Um, not as blady as maybe the CB or the MB, but still going to be good for a player who likes to work the ball both directions, flight it up and down the works. So you have your your tour shape, okay? You have your um, thinner top line, reduced offset. I, six iron here, it's just a hair, not a ton of offset. Looks really nice. I would say a good player's distance forged iron. All right, it's not a hollow body. It doesn't have a, a big body behind it. Has a progressively more compact profile than the Forge Tech iron. So that means the irons will be a little larger in your longer clubs. And as you get down to your pitching wedge, you'll get more compact in the head. I haven't looked at them all super close, but I'll find that out from the reviews and we'll let you know. Um, they're also shorter in the blade length from heel to toe. Okay. That makes, uh, a, I think, a big difference for a player who likes a compact head behind the ball, wants to work it again, like I mentioned earlier. So keep an eye out for that. Now, these are forged irons. Apparently, this is an uncommon practice, but they used a five-step forging process over there at Cobra. What does that mean? They take a blazing hot round bar of carbon steel, and they put it in the forge, different forges probably, but put it in a forge and basically hammer it five different times. Traditionally, they'll knock these out like two, three presses maybe, but that the extra presses give the metal a tighter grain structure. What does a tight grain structure mean, you might ask? It means the met it's pretty much <laughs> exactly as it sounds. The metal's less porous, it's tighter, so you'll have a more solid feel, it'll be more consistent, so you won't have like dead spots, weak spots, whatever. And like I said, it'll be softer, but solid. You'll have a ton of response as well. It's ultimately going to just be a much better feel and make you more consistent with the feedback from the club. Okay. Now, that said, 
it's forged, but they they use a CNC program to mill out this undercut here. This allows Cobra to reposition the weight in a place that is lower in the head and will promote a higher launch. Now you don't if you're playing these, you likely don't want a big high launch, but you wouldn't mind it being easy to get the ball up in the air. I have I have liked a lot of the modern players' irons because they have been lowering the center of gravity as opposed to like my grandpa's old blades where the center of gravity was, you know, way up here in the top line. So they just came out low bullets, like no higher than six feet off the ground. This undercut lowers it. The ball wants to get up, but not like a balloon. It just wants to get in the air carrying. So you get a good, you get good solid distances. All right. Now you got to fill that undercut with something now. So you have, you still have good feel and everything dials in right. There's a TPU material inserted right here and covered with this aluminum medallion. It's going to, remember I mentioned earlier, tighter grain structure it gives it a little more solid feel that tpu and aluminum will dampen it a little bit take out some of the vibration and sweeten the feel up it'll still be solid and responsive but it'll be cleaner um, a little sweeter on the hands because of it all right last but not least all cobra clubs are still eligible for a free set of arco sensors or you know as if you get four four irons seven irons two irons you can get arco sensors to add on here good for tracking your stats and uh, evaluating your game so don't sleep on that you can also custom order like i said earlier you could get this in some sort of combo set you can get your preferred shaft in it like i have here my project x six and a half that i've been playing with my uh golf pride z grips z cord grips i love these things so much so keep that in mind when you're when you're looking into these. If you want to, if you know, maybe you don't want this in a pitching wedge, but you could sure use it in your four or five. That's an option. All right, we'll get reviews fired up for all of you soon. Thank you for watching. Like I said earlier, don't forget to go down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. And uh, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.